Hello everyone, today we are gonna do a build order on Roanoke Abyss, a pretty classic map. Um, pay a lot of attention to the way I'm placing things. We're gonna start with Land Factory right next to our ACU, then two pigeons. Then we're gonna start from here, from this side down, four pigeons, and then we're gonna make another three. And then we're gonna make our Land Factory, so we're gonna have nine pigeons and an air factory. Uh, this is important because... Ace engineers are gonna come here and by the time they are assisting the issue these pigeons are gonna be done and their range is gonna be more or less this and they're gonna be able to work on these pigeons and the air factory without moving which is a very important thing you don't want your you want your engineers to move the least as possible because the more time they spend moving the less time they spend building and then our four engineers we're gonna send on an X to get mass because as you can see we're building only pigeons with the ACU therefore the thing we're gonna be missing the mostly is mass he's gonna take this rock then he's gonna come here take this take this max come here da, 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 da. oh I fucked it up I fucked it up I fucked it up I fucked it up it's okay it's still fixable it's not that bad <laughs> but I did fuck it up there I didn't hold shift, which was pretty fucking atrocious. Now I'm gonna make sure I hold shift and try not to get too fancy. But yeah, the first two engineers are gonna come on these routes. This guy can then come here, come here. And then the next one is gonna do pretty much the same. You always wanted to like reclaim a couple of rocks first, because again, we need a lot of mass. And then, I don't know if you can reclaim some of these trees, I guess. And then come here, radar here. And then the next one. Obviously, the same thing. Um, we're gonna send him here. Oh, shit. I forgot to do this one, but it's okay. Can be fixed. This guy is gonna come here. A little bit messing up this video, but yeah, you want them to go grab one of the core mechs, then reclaim a little bit of rocks, then grab the other mechs, and then send them pretty far. And then add the other engineers you want to assist, because as you can see, you see this golden ring, this is the range, meaning they're gonna be able to build the air factory, these three pigeons, and they're not gonna be moving. And that's pretty much it, then we're gonna click here, click here, this engineer, um, click here, click here, this engineer, we want to make land factories over here, then another engineer comes, we can just, you know, it's very chill, we can like keep fixing issues that we have. Here we can reclaim this, make a radar, make more navy and then we can continue here and then everyone here is gonna assist the factory which we're gonna send a transport scout two in T's scout two in T's three I would say four in T's scout two in T's something like this is pretty good and then we can just make everyone assist here as you can see, we just have enough for everything, which is a really good eco-balance. And we're going to end up having five engineers. I could have probably reclaimed a couple more trees, but this isn't really going to hurt us. Quickly grab all of our engineers. I want to grab everyone here, all the five. And I'm going to send them here. With the ACU, we're going to want to make also seven pigeons, air factory, and then make a couple more. Then this air scout we're gonna send here just to make sure there are no inties or bombers or anything awaiting for our transport. Transport is about to get the fifth NG, please be faster, thank you. We wanna do two NGs here, two NGs here, and then another one here. Then we have an idle engineer. I'm gonna put him to help the ACU. And then I'm gonna make him start working on it. Then we have an inti. And as you can see, we're doing a lot of good stuff because we're taking this, 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 and we're doing so in a very effective manner because our forced fair engineers are the ones that are going to be taking out of this. Then with this engineer, we can probably start like building the navy on our front. We need to be quick with these engineers as well. Uh, here you go. Then I have another engineer here. You can assist them, I guess. Now these two engines just dropped, we want one over here, oh my god, uh, pick this stuff, then where is the max? Oh, I fucked that up though, it's okay, no biggie, and then come here, and then probably, I don't know, start your thing, these guys are the ones that are gonna build the land factory, and then they're gonna go, dun dun, 
Tan -tan. You want to make sure you separate your engines, grab the big rock. Uh, the transport didn't get a callback order, now it's coming back. Now here we want to do the same. Tan -tan -tan. We have a lot of engines in the base that can die AFK. I didn't really see, but I guess we would know if it died. Then about this time I would start like... Uh, I'll probably start sending engineers here. We're gonna need a lot of power. As you can see. I cannot, even, I cannot even run this actually right now, which is kinda sad. But that's okay, guys. This video is a little bit... I would say try hard. Now we can start sending the ACU here, because we want... The enemy might have dropped here, very aggressively. Because as you can see, we're only dropping here. So we want to make sure that... What's the word? We're ready for a drop. Uh, I would say like three engines just to reclaim, then you can do something like this. That would be fine. Then is everybody else okay? AC is moving. Transport about to come back. We are kind of having a couple of issues right now. Because as you can see, we are in need of a lot of E. I'm going to probably pause the air factory here. And I'm going to kidnap four engineers. And I'm going to send them right here to drop. I'm already sending the AC, but the AC is more like an assurance that in case our opponent drops here aggressively, we already have something going on in there. And I would say about now, we can probably start upgrading a mix. It's going to be a little bit dangerous though, because we do need... This BO lacks a lot of energy. And then we can do this. And then yeah, we want we want a lot of engineers building E. It seems excessive to have five, but it's definitely what you want. I mean, considering we just passed our air factory. Um, yeah. It's pretty... Pretty bad. And I'm gonna select all of these so they can start building already. And then I'm gonna... I don't see anything by my opponent. I don't think they're gonna do it. I mean, obviously I'm playing alone, but... If you see they do something, then just build around here, make something, send bombers, check it out. You know, like, there's a lot of options to it. But you could just drop here and then build, like, a two factories and you'd be safe. I don't see anybody, so I don't feel that worried right now. And this case, I don't know, you can... We can also put this to do this. Um, I'm gonna do the exact same thing I did with the other ones. I'm gonna come here. Come here, come here, and then come here, and then you guys are gonna build two. Then radar, then not MIA, and then the mix. Well, I don't know. I feel like maybe just one would be good. Then something like that. Am I missing anything? Everything seems to be going fine. I have an idle engineer somewhere. Oh, these guys. Yeah, you guys can like start reclaiming here. And as you can see, also having these radars helps us a lot of knowing like if enemy frigates are passing by. And as you can see, we do need a lot of E. <laughs> I wasn't joking, we do need a fuck a truckload of fucking E. Then we have this guy. I guess he could build a radar, but we're kinda of stalling a little bit, which isn't gonna be super nice. Then this guy can do the same. And that's pretty much the BO. It's a lot to keep up, so don't worry if you mess up. Um instead of the mixes, you could send more, which actually I sh something I should have done. I'm gonna send these guys. Instead of making so many mixes, you can up the navy production, which I'm kinda lacking a little bit. It's very space, but um, I should have had more engineers assisting this, I would say. And then I want like. I guess four would be a nice number, yeah. Four engineers? Uh, I think maybe. I don't need four, maybe, I don't know. I can probably capture these three over here and send them over here and that's pretty much the build order now what we're gonna do is we're gonna check quickly the nexus bo and we're gonna see what matters on this map a lot and what really doesn't but as you can see i feel like we haven't really overflown too much mass i, I should have made the tech to max earlier but other than that i feel like it's fine and now let's take a little bit of an analysis of nexus against UD and see what they do so we can explain the map a little bit more in depth. Now, here we are. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit because we just saw the first five minutes. Um, let's put it to plus 10 at first. And next is build this. We have like pretty much the same layout. You can see that he has one less pigeon, but he does end up fixing this issue. As you can see here, he's about to make another one. There we go. He makes another one too. Eh, 
Well, he sends the engines on the same path. Da 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 da. You send the transport. You drop two here. You drop two here. They make two land factories. And okay, now probably about. Now we want to start slowing it down. Uh, as you can see too, he also sends the ACU. Pretty normal. So he doesn't build the radars here. Huh, I mean, that's like an option you can have of not doing it, of rushing this, but then you like information around here. Then he sees there's nobody here. He has Intis though, and he knows he hasn't dropped here either. So Judy's having like a similar VO, where Judy dropped here most probably. And as you can see, Judy also has an engineer already here. And there he drops. And about the same time, Nexus is also dropping. Now I'm gonna slow it down a little bit more. And uh, why are these engineers so slow? Oh, I guess they're doing fine, but I don't know. I think about this time is when my engine is here already building. But anyways, this is a navy map, obviously, as you can see. However, you want a lot of control of the information and the navy. Because all of these four mexes are easy to shoot with a frigate. Same as this one. Maybe not this one, but in this island, you can easily have used a lot of the navy power. And if you get tech to navy, then it's extremely easy to just like park a destroyer and absolutely demolish a base. So whoever wins the navy wins the game. So you can see Nexus is having a lot of trouble with his E. Um, I think I was having more trouble with my mass. But actually he doesn't even build a factory here. Uh, he plays a little bit more risky. But anyways, the point is you want to have air. Because if you don't have air, the islands, all of your expansions are going to be very weak. Because you can see everything is very separated. So if you lose air badly, your opponent couldn't just bomb this, can bomb this, can bomb this, 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 this. So you want to keep air and you want to keep navy. You want to make a lot of frigates. Now Nexus has some building here. He has also some building here. Because if an enemy frigate comes through here, he's already having some production that can defend. He's also making the ones over here. He's also making some over here. And I don't think he's making any over here yet because he dropped later. But as you can see, he's trying to get a lot of intel. And he's trying to get production here and here on these areas. So he can have like something coming along these lines rather than just, you know, nothing. And as you can see, here's a clear example of what, what we were saying. The mechs. And then goes for the other mechs. Like goes here then here then here then here and this is just like an annoyance if you lose air yet again it's gonna be a bigger annoyance because there's gonna be bombers here 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 you don't want that either you definitely want to make a lot of e nexus is also well he's not doing it now but i know judy is probably doing it by now take to air judy's going take to air now why would you want to go take to air Pretty much because if you get gunships, if you have air and you get gunships, you can absolutely demolish these islands completely. It's gonna be super brutal. Besides having bombers, the bombers can get defeated by Tech 1 MIA, but the gunships will absolutely destroy Tech 1 MIA. And your opponent cannot build enough Tech 1 MIA or Tech 2 flak in every single island. Therefore, having Tech 2 air is really good. But not only for that, but also that with Tech 2 air. If you're not doing that hot in Navy, you can also make Tor Bombers, however... Tor Bombers are a very expensive investment compared to like making, I don't know, 3 or 4 gunships. You would need like 10, 15 Tor Bombers to make like a big difference in Navy. As you can see, Nexus just being annoying as hell. Taking out these mexes, trying to ruin Judy's economy. He has another 2 here. They're taking this. Judy is doing effectively the same, he's attacking here, he's attacking here, however both players have production on these islands so they can respond faster than having to send somebody from here out of the way here, instead they're already having some stuff here. Um, but yeah, it's a very simple map as you can see and then Nexus seems to be winning a lot because he doesn't seem to be getting raided as much as Judy. But it's pretty much a navy map. You want to not throw away too many frigates doing this. Like yeah, you want to raid, then you want to like kill some engines, just mess up, but don't don't constantly suicide frigates just to take four mexes, like once or twice, okay? Because you don't want your opponent to have ten frigates for you to have only two and then to them come back, they're gonna take out your production. 
The reason why these raids here and these raids here don't work as well is because there's production here that constantly stops these frigates from being that annoying. But if they destroy the production here, then it becomes much more harder because you have to move stuff from here to here. And that's pretty much the map. I would say try keeping up this alive. Your opponent, even without air, can still send a bomber here because you have to manage this island. You have to manage this. You have to manage this. You have to manage your units here. You have to manage your other units here. And you don't have time to be looking at, oh, there's a bomber here or there's an enemy bomber here, etc. Or maybe a frigate came and destroyed this mix. Like, or this mix, for example, Nexus hasn't acted on it yet, because he has to manage so much stuff. So I would say you want to play some doubt, see where you're lacking, and act on it. And then try building radars around these places. Nexus has them all turned off, because he's probably going to attack to Pigeon. Nexus, uh, I don't know how to feel about this. I guess he just finished Tech 2 air. But yeah, Nexus... Stalling a lot. I don't think Judy's stalling, because he got Tech 2 air faster. Yeah, Judy's stalling the mass. But not the E. Uh, so it's kind of like, I guess, better for him. He does have a little bit of like less knowledge compared to Nexus. I feel like Nexus feels more comfortable. But as you can see, Nexus did throw away a lot of frigates around here. While Judy didn't. And now Nexus has 3 against 6. So that's what I'm saying. You want to be a little bit worried about that. Because then this 6 can easily win. So Nexus obviously responds. Sends reinforcements. Uh, let's take a look at the Observer, but that's pretty much the map. You don't want to take bad trades with the Frigates like this. Three coming here. Nexus is moving a little bit forward, but even then... he has Nexus has more Frigates, Judy has less. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure your Frigates are together. Because it's really bad. Like, this sort of thing is going to be uh, brutalizing. Frigates, like, if you have two against one, six versus three... It's super brutal. And now he has to retreat. I think I'm also hearing tech two. Oh, the gunship. We have. Why do I feel like I hear two gunships though? Oh, it's here. As you can see, it's what I told you. Judy um, seems to have air. He, I don't know how many inties he has. Let's find out right now. Judy has 22 plus 10. Nexus has 4. Therefore, Judy clearly won an air fight. And now Judy has a gunship here, gunship here. This one's a little bit suicidal. I think he should be more careful, but he also has some Tor bombers that can like alleviate the navy a little bit. But he's gonna need more because these have anti-air two, and two are just not enough, especially if they're cyber and frigates. What's pretty much the map? As you can see, there's like take two air playing here to destroy these mexes, and that's that's what you wanna do when you win air raid the mexes. And if you have enough tech to gunships, you can absolutely take this down. Like, three gunships will tear down, like, down this factory, any anti-air they make. And then add them exits, and that's going to be brutalizing. And then the navy is just the same. You want to be raiding here, raiding here. The middle doesn't really see that much action. Why, you may think? It's just because there's, like, a fuckload of factories here. There's a fuckload of factories here. Oh, I send five frigates here. They're not going to destroy anything, like... Uh, this has 4,500 HP, the frigates still like no damage, 4 frigates come up and they just die. Like, your raid doesn't achieve anything, and you just deposited some mass in your opponent. But yeah, um, you is still raiding with Hector, and that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. It really depends, like maybe your opponent sacrifices a lot of the navy with a lot of the air. You want to react to that by not making so many frigates, because... You wanna put the frigates here, 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 like everywhere you can raid, but don't overbuild frigates if your opponent is not giving up, giving up on them. You want to start building a fuckload of inties, because your opponent will probably not be able to, what's the word, keep up making offensive air units and also defensive air units like inties. He can only make one or both at a time, and if he makes both, you'll probably be able to keep up with his air production while also raiding his mixes. But yeah, that's pretty much the map. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Yet again, this is very niche, very specific um, ideas and things. This is not meant for new players. This is meant for you want to know how Ronald gets played. This is how it gets played. And this is how you build order because it's very messy. And having a good BO can be the difference between having a frigate earlier or more air, like having a better drop, etc, etc, and having a good eco balance. And then Judy... <laughs> this is so weird to me. Don't understand this one gunship here, like, 
I will probably like then this uh, Nexus throwing away his air trying to kill some Tor Bombers definitely not gonna help him out and then Judy now has like a good chunk of Tor Bombers I think how many does he have um, he has nine which is it's already starting to get into like scary numbers um, however he's getting attacked by a lot of Navy but I'm telling you like once you have like nine or ten it's very very brutal like these frigates aren't gonna do anything and they're just gonna die but yeah it's a map peace